All right, guys. So I'm going to teach you guys how to play Trundle in the newest patch. So what you want to run right now is Little Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Cut the Grass, Demolish, and then you also want to go Bone Play. And what we also have is a D-Blade, and we also have Ignite and Flash. We're currently facing off set top. Really good matchup, honestly. Um, he does have the ability to summon me and actually win the short trades. But we all know Chondo, guys. Like, I can literally just hit my Q auto. I just pop in my W and we just all in. For that reason, he's also running Grasp. I got Little Tempo. I win the 1v1. I have Little Tempo to my advantage. He's dead. Is he? Wow, yield off like so much. <laughs> he healed up like crazy, man. He healed actually faster than my than my ignite. Bit weird. Let's take it slow then. I lost my uh, some spells. I think Belfet's gonna it's coming top lane. Yeah, it's funny. Like people don't really expect the damage from Chundle. I've had so many kills level one because people just don't expect a little tempo trundle. It's quite hilarious. I can't really trade him. There's uh, the jungle in the red. I think that Belfat's probably coming top still. I don't think that has changed. Yeah, he's currently on the on the mid river, but he's coming top side. We said she went mid. Not bad. This guy's like hogging the tower like crazy, which is not bad because he's losing the farm. I have to respect him. Oh, it seems like Belfast's pathing bot lane. Okay, in that case. Shuff it out. Sure, doesn't land. Good, nice try. Of course, I take a tower hit. Alright, we're gonna reset. Um, I'm gonna buy two daggers. I wanna have the, uh, the attack speed so I can rush him. He's got TP, so he's not necessarily uh, that weak right now. If he TPs back, then it's not going to be in my favor. So it's better if I back off right now and just get my item and then come back after that. Let's go. I'll grab um, one of these and one of these. Alright, let's walk back. Now, the good thing about this matchup is after you trade set and things happen and you have to back off, you can just reset because set doesn't really have a lot of wave clear. He only has his E and he only has his W. So um, if you ever need ha if you ever need to back off against him, just don't hesitate. Just do it because you're really not going to miss that much. Let's wait out. Let's wait around. He'll probably come back with steel caps. I hope he doesn't. Interesting. It's a set with grasp. You know, if he went conquer, um, I'd probably be able to beat him a lot faster. His grasp is keeping him standing right now. But not for long. Yeah, he's going with steel caps. I think he might just play it safe again. Yeah. Staying back really far. Doesn't go for the wave. He's hitting his W for the wave though. <laughs> okay. Of course I missed my Q like that. Like that was going to be an absolute amazing LM. <laughs> A sad opportunity lost. A bit disappointing. 
Okay, I'll just let him take the wave. We're heading out. Now I got my recurve bow. This is where things become fun because now I have recurve bow. If I have the blade later, it has the same effect. Um, but with Shondal, you're rushing attack speed because you're going with recurve bow. You want to have the on hit effects, right? You have your W, which gives you insane attack speed. Um, you have your Q, which perma slows them, and your ultimate for 1v1ing. So all you need is like on hit, and Blade will give you movement speed too if you proc it. So. He's not gonna do much. And he's dead. Now we shove. Perfect. The cannons right here. We're definitely taking some plates before we back off. Oh. Right. He got TP. Alright. Well, no problem. He doesn't have any tools to beat me right now. He has, like, nothing. All of his stuff is in cooldown. I... I also have a Kinjit right behind him, so we could probably kill him again. But it's better if I back off. He has steel caps, so he doesn't have any clear. King of coming through. Uh, quick question. Is Orn a good champion to start playing top lane? Uh, it definitely is. Orn is actually one of the few champions which I've been recommending for a while. For obvious reasons. Mm, he's trying to chase him down. Wait. I'm on the way. I got him. He's also dead. See you later. Sorry, buddy. Chondo has the highest win rate of the entire game. You don't crush him that easily. <laughs> I can buy my blade right, uh, right now. But first, before we go back, I'm just going to get some plates. Nice. I have my ultimate still. And I have a double buff. Well, it's probably dead. No. Not dead enough. That doesn't help, dude. <laughs> hmm. I, I'm gonna try to prevent him from running. Good gangs, by the way. Really good ones. can probably take like one more tower. So let's stay around. I need my, t uh, I need my jungle here. Nice. Two towers in one at once. Now we go back. I'm going to buy blade and my next item will probably be a 24. Or we can also go to Fine, which is also good this game. But I'm thinking more about Trinity Force, more than... Um, let's go with that one. I'm thinking more about Trinity Force this game because I want to like uh, destroy towers like as soon as possible. Define does that pretty well, but Trinity Force does it better. 
that's why I'm building it. And after Trinity Force, we will probably build... Um, Yeah, we're probably going to be building Hallbreaker for the uh, splitting. Again, it's going to make us better in, in 1v2s and stuff like that. Let's go back top. Okay. Yeah, Seth's probably farming out or something like that. Doesn't matter. If he takes jungle camps. Like our plan simple. We're just going to shove the wave out. Uh, the way how we always do it. And then we're going to go for jungle camps. If we can get the chance to 1v1 or 1v2. Then I'm going to take the chance. Oh, uh, Mike Knight was kind of troll. I already got him. My bad. But yeah, that's gonna be another turret. Like, we're like 12 minutes in and we're getting turrets already. Got it. Hmm. Not something we can do. No. Go for the jungle camp. Nice. Okay. Well, let's go back again. Or I'll take I'll see if I can get something done. He might walk in here. And he's dead again. Or he's not dead. Wow, he got away. <laughs> he's got away. You kidding? I tried sidestepping Belfeth. I shouldn't have done it because I still got hit. I should have taken the last auto. Well, the last Q. My bad. I want to go steel caps, but I'll wait. That was so funny, man. Like, Belfet, there, there's always a few champions that I, I notice I'm complaining about. Um, Belfet is one of them. Every time I see a Belfet, that person will press E, and not a single champion can compete to this. You know, even us, we're, we're giga fed. We have like five kills, as you can see. We're almost at my secondary item. You would say, or what you would think, that if Belfet all ends you, you'd actually beat him. Well, no, not really. He presses E. And there you go. He turns around. Does damage, heal at the same time. You can't target him. Because he gains way too much. Well, you, be, you just can't hit him anymore. Like, too much damage reduction. So he does damage, he heals, and he has damage reduction, like all in one ability. Doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, probably it's gonna be a free kill. See you later, buddy. Let's get turrets. Yo, Zyra, stop it. Wow. You don't kill me, dude. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> the is mine. 
<laughs> Exhausted. I got Zyrad. Well, no problem, man. I'm, I'll keep going. Look how fat I am right now. Eight kills. I'm going to crush them. <laughs> Oof. So that's making things work. Well, not anymore, he died. Uh, yeah. Well, what am I going to do? I'm not ranged. <laughs> if I go in, like, what am I going to do? He's going to walk back. There's nothing I can do there. They'll immediately walk away the moment I go in. I'm sorry, buddy. You're not getting out of this. Uh, I'm going to kill them both. Thank you. <laughs> Trundle is such a joke. <laughs> I'm starting to take my words back about Belfast. Slowly. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> I'll get this one. Uh, also, one thing is crucial. Like, I still have to get steel caps. I'll get steel caps first. All right, now we go for Hallbreaker, and then after Hallbreaker, we go for... Uh, probably going to end up like going for Tiamat into Titanic Hydra. I like my oh, Ash Arrow went right through it. Oh, well, not right through it, I mean right next to it. Ooh. Nice. Well, I've got the kill. I'm backing out now. Hey, I got a blue. Nice. That's sweet. Oh, I wish I had E. Ah, she escaped. <laughs> wow, the timing was kind of horrible. I uh, walked around the corner with seven seconds on my E, so there was no way I could lock Zyra from running away. I should have just let her walk away and just run bot lanes instantly. Would have uh, definitely been definitely been better. My bad. I'm going to run bot lane next. We got top lane. Now we go bot lane. Let's go. Yeah, top lane is like not important anymore. <laughs> as long as the as the inhib is down, we are we're not going there anymore. Let's see who's going to die first. Let's see who wants to actually approach me. Next tower, uh, two people will spawn. Um, there's one guy mid, one guy top, and there's Zyra in bot lane. I think there's more people bot lane now. Oh, 
Oh, does he know? Ah, right, there are wards, of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> See you later, buddy. See you next time. Ash arrow incoming. <clears throat> I can get my hands on hole breaker now. I'll back real quick. Great. Okay, next, um, we're gonna build into Titanic, and then the final item uh, is. Probably going to be GA. We could also go Spirit Visage. Or even Dead Stance in that matter. Both can heal. Dead Stance only if I kill people. But Spirit Visage uh, combines with my champ. We'll see. But first we go for Titanic. Good that buddy. The attack speed is so funny. Oh, he nearly got stuck into that again. <laughs> uh, nice one. Ooh, clean. Clean arrow. Uh, I'm probably gonna die. Hmm, can I heal back up maybe? Yeah, this champ is running super fast. There's not really much you can do against her. If she runs up like that with so much movement speed, she can kite even trundle. Pick up this one. Ooh, take a Belfast. Time to start an ice age. See you later. Another Ash Arrow. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. <laughs> no problem. Meanwhile, top lane, we got a Trinibir taking over the game. <laughs> it's all thanks to the fact that they have a uh, that they have a team comp with CC. Otherwise, they would never kill me. It's just that they also have an ADC by chance that have like over a thousand movement speed. If they didn't actually have those champions, I don't think they would have ever beat me. Okay, so my deep blade don't need that stuff anymore. Let's go, Pauline. My teammates are struggling pretty hard against this guy. Yeah, I can't. I can't one v nine that stuff. I'll go back, Balling. 
The only way for me to actually absolutely crush this game is just by splitting and having my, my teammates like group up in um, as much as possible. Because if they group up as four and they happen to go balling or something like that, then my team can basically finish off the game. You know. Trinomir is taking the towers and stuff like that. I'll take these ones. Go another inhib. Again, full enemy team is up here. So my team should be able to win. Right here. So you see like splitting is very rewarding. Because they are forced to like put themselves in a bet uh, to outnumber themselves basically. My team can do the Baron right now because I have pressure up here. They need the entire enemy team to stop me. Uh, full enemy team went bot lane. They killed me. My whole team got the Baron instead. And we can get the third Drake right now. So it's it's still worth it for me. Uh, let's go with... I might go for Death Stance. Because that's pretty much the only thing I'm missing. Because if I kill people, I'll, I will heal off of this item. So uh, let's go for this. Uh, quick question. Any tips for good farm? Well... Um, good, like, farming just comes with experience with the game. But all I can say is just play League more, man. Like, the more you play League, the better farming becomes. It, it's like, sort of like an automatic thing. Yeah, you, you have tips like, yeah, go into custom game and, like, auto attack and try and last hit and all that stuff, but... No. Don't do it. Just display the game like you should, because that's the only way to learn it. Like, yeah, sure, if, if I go into custom game, sure, I'll have 200 CS at 10 minutes. I, I can do that too, man, but like... You have no person to pressure you, so you don't learn anything, right? That makes sense. You, you have to learn it by just playing the game. It's an automatic process. Nice ultimate. Oh, my old team died. We've got an ash bombing up here so far. Well, we got one. Ooh, this game is so hard. I'm like so fat, but I'm like 1 feet 20 currently. It's kind of annoying. My team can just group up as four. If they go four man top lane, they group up and I go bot lane. There's no way that my team can lose. Like they can't lose four against three, you know. But I'm like playing it's one versus three the whole time. They always come bot lane and they, they kill me all, all the time. You know, it's a little bit frustrating. But this game could easily be over already.
Hey, let's go that sense. Nice. Here we go. Uh... Did I just notice that now? Or did Swain go AFK? <laughs> So we're playing the game 4 against 5 for a decade at this point because this Swain is level 12. He's not even there. Yeah, right. We have an AFK. This is going to be interesting. My whole team died, so I guess they're going to come falling again. And now they surrender. It's kind of uh, it's kind of tilting because yesterday I also got a two games where people a uh, went AFK and left. It's a bit frustrating, but it happens quite a lot lately. People, uh, people jo uh, joining in, then going AFK. Sucks, man. One versus three again. I'm always one versus three. Did the camp here? Yeah, I'm a bit unlu unlucky lately, man. I've I've seen way too many people going AFK uh, since yesterday. It's not really fun. It's been happening uh, consistently. The trolls are going to war. Lost a lot of ranked games and all that stuff to people going AFK. Way too many. I think they're bot lane again. They're always bot lane. I'm gonna see if I can beat him now. They start doing Baron. Not really exciting. Oh man, this game is just a complete Wolfie 20, like, literally. No, not Wolfie 20, it's Wolfie 30. I still think it's winnable. Alright, so we got a team that can rush Baron. Ooh, sweet. They should honestly just shove mid. Ooh, or rush top. That's better. This game is winnable. You know, we don't have Swain, but it's definitely winnable. Because we have a team that we can still shred them very easily. We know we've got a good scaling comp. Here we go. We just have to shove mid directly. Just keep going. They're going for uh, fights. We just go to end the game. Oh, 
got it. <laughs> they all backboarded in time. There was there was a, such a massive fight down here, and they all backboarded. They they saw it coming. Back. <laughs> What a joke. I hate people so much at AFK. Because they ruin the experience so much. And it happens so often, man. It just happens every single day lately. And not even once, but twice. I'm rushing mid. Mm. <laughs> I'm taking a huge risk. I don't care. Oh, they're going to die. I have no choice. Oh, that sucks. Or, I can! I can actually take that risk, maybe. It depends on how fast they heal. I'm going to do it. I don't care if this game is a loss at this point. Oh, uh, he does. Okay. Yeah, the game is probably lost. It probably is. I don't think I can win. Oh, I can. Okay. Well, the game is over. GG. <laughs> For against five, we win. All right. Either way, thanks so much for watching uh, today's Trundle video, and I'll see you next time.